Uh, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. Another video from my lab. Here we're gonna deploy just clean installation of VCSA 6.5. We're not migrating anything, we just do and run the installer to see how does it look like. So same assistant, accept the license agreement. Here you can choose if you want to deploy vCenter server with embedded PSC or just to deploy PSC or just to deploy vCenter server. Taking the option to deploy VCSA. So here you need root passport or your the IP address uh, some name of your VM then choose the root password okay You can see the assistant is quite clever. It can correct your mistyping password. Here you can choose the deployment size. Pick up your data store where you want to put the VM. VM and uh, you can also enable the thin disk mode to save some disk space. Here you have to configure the network settings of the appliance. You can go for DHCP or you do static IP addressing in case you in case you're doing static IP address you should create the forward and reverse DNS records on your DNS server. and you'll see it, I'll do it in a second. The VMware installer is very robust. Okay, so we have the DNS records, forward and reverse, and we just gonna restart our DNS server to clear all the caches, just in case. And we clear the caches as well on our management workstation. I know I'm a little bit paranoid, but DNS is tricky sometimes, so Oh yeah, the system name should be FQDN, not just the system name. So I put lab.local at the end, which is my domain. Yeah, as you can see, we accelerated the video. No reason to wait for uh, so long. So it, it is much faster. Otherwise. All the deployment it takes between 15 and 20 minutes and we're gonna do it in less than half of the time and so this was the phase one and here we're gonna start the phase two I'm just gonna show you the screens You can configure NTP, but I'm not doing it right now. The SSO domain name, SSO username, password, and the site name. 
and that's about it. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna join the program. And again, we will um, accelerate the video so we don't have to wait too long to configuration to happen. Yeah, you can see that you can reconfigure the appliance. You have the URL with the port 5480. And that's about it. So what we need to do next is just to, to connect. We start our web browser and we try the new HTML5 UI which is IP of the appliance slash UI and um, cancel yeah, administrator um, not with this not this one vSphere uh, no it's not vSphere lab it's vSphere local oh what get it wrong yeah takes a little bit time the first connection but it's still quite fast and much faster than the vSphere web client with the flash interface so here you go we've just deployed the vcsa 6.5 and we have the nice html5 ui thanks for watching bye bye